the northwest of Australia, between Indian Ocean and the Andaman Sea, is Sumatra, Indonesia's third largest island and one of the highest islands on Earth. In ancient Sanskrit, Sumatra was known as the land of gold. In modern times, that's evidenced by the fact that Sumatra is a sanctuary for some of the world's rarest plants and animal treasures. It's also home to some of the world's smoothest, most full-bodied coffees, which are grown high on volcanic slopes coursing through the country. Our Arabica hails from three regions. Near Lake Toba on the plateau of Lintong, Aceh, refuge of exotic flowers, playful orangutans and majestic tigers, and the beautiful green that's northern Sumatra. The lush land around Lintong was born of one of the most cataclysmic events in the Earth's history. 70,000 years ago, a volcanic eruption occurred that was so powerful the entire planet fell into a volcanic winter lasting half a dozen years. In the wake of this catastrophe, however, a rich soil developed, a layer of volcanic ash over six inches thick. It covered all of Southeast Asia, and to this day still nourishes the tiny backyard farms of the local Bacchanese, where uncommonly flavorful coffees are grown. Far in the north of Sumatra is Aceh. High altitudes and long valleys mean much of this area is covered in clouds. Fiercely rugged and steep terrains leave outsiders wondering how it might be possible to cultivate coffee on such unforgiving slopes. But the land's incredibly fertile, and coffee is uniquely suited to the climate and conditions. So many farms thrive among the rocky boulders. When harvest time arrives, farmers methodically handpick and semi-wash the beans before embarking on a treacherous 22-hour journey down the mountain to market. There, this unique full-bodied varietal with outstanding earthy flavours will be most welcome and eagerly anticipated. Northern Sumatra is a verdant region filled with lakes, flowers, pine trees and rolling hills. Warm days and cold nights create a perfect tropical mountain climate, and the super-rich soil needs little fertilisation. Hundreds of smallholder farmers collaborate to grow coffee here. Their tiny farms neatly arranged with alternating rows of coffees and chilies. Their giant beans are some of the biggest and most tantalising you'll find, brewing into an effortlessly exotic cup with a citrusy flavour and long-lasting sweetness. Sumatran coffees are deeply special, owed partly to the unique terroirs of the island and partly to the artisanal processing techniques employed by the dedicated growers. The gilling bassa, or semi-wash process, means parchments are only marginally dried and then stripped from the bean. The still moist green bean will sun dry for two to three days before undergoing a rigorous bean by bean selection process. Only the best of the best will be hand packed and shipped from origin to you with all of their integrity intact. In Sumatra, we're deeply invested in partnering with producers to run profitable, thriving businesses and in supporting local people and projects. Recent farm efforts have focused on shade tree plantings and training on pruning techniques. In the community, we've developed English classes for local children and created healthcare days, which reached over 2,500 farmers and their families. Kami bergabung dengan uh, PT Pulkopi. Kami dibina dilatih dan banyak pelatihan mengenai perkebunan kopi waktu itu. Begitu pentingnya atau begitu besarnya sebenarnya kebun kopi itu. Peng, uh, pengaruhnya ke kehidupan masyarakat setempat. Horas. 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 Sumatra is a place where the earth makes its awe-inspiring power known and nature responds with ceaseless perseverance and adaptability. Fittingly, the beans that come from this place absorb all the wonderful tastes of the land. Blue Batak, Narata Nauli and Gayo Big Bean, all deep, herbal and syrupy sweet, as well as embody the essence of the wild and thriving landscape that surrounds them. Explore them with us.